Boyd Hill Nature Preserve is located in South St. Petersburg by Lake Maggiore. You can go there and learn about native plants and animals. It has nature trails that you can enjoy with your family. It also has exhibits. And it has rangers who can tell you about Florida wildlife. When our friend Mike went to learn about snakes, we tagged along. We are here to learn about venomous snakes. Welcome to Boyd Hill Nature Preserve. Uh, my name's Aurora Hadsock. I'm a ranger here. What can I do for you? Oh, thank you, Ranger Hadsock. Uh, we want to ask you about snakes found in Pinellas County. Well, there are several snakes that are found here in Pinellas County. Um, most of them that are very common are non-venomous, which means they're harmless, but we do have a few venomous ones. Venomous, that means poisonous, right? Doesn't it? It does. Uh, venomous snakes have poison in their bite, so if they bite you, they can harm you pretty badly. What do our venomous snakes look like? Well, I have a poster right over here if you'd like to take a look. So here's the poster we were talking about. As you can see, uh, we've got all the venomous snakes found in this area. Um, the most potent venom that you're going to find in a Florida snake is, comes from the coral snake. And you can see they're very colorful. How can we recognize a coral snake? Well, you'll see that in this picture, the red and the yellow bands touch, and the black bands don't separate them. They have this black nose and a big, wide, um, yellow stripe across their head. If you see red next to yellow, think of a stop sign. Red, yellow, stop. There are other kinds of snakes which like to mimic the coloration of a coral snake, but you can see that their yellow and red bands don't touch. They're separated by this black. That means that they aren't a coral snake. How about rattlesnakes? Are they common here? Oh, we do have rattlesnakes in this area. We have two kinds. One is the pygmy rattlesnake. Uh, these guys are very small, and you can see they have this dark eye band. That's a very good indicator that the snake you're looking at is a venomous snake. Uh, we also have the eastern diamondback rattlesnake. You can see they have that dark eye band. Um, they also have the characteristic rattles, which make that loud noise that you expect from a rattlesnake. I've also heard about water moccasins. Oh, we have those too. Um, while they're common, most common by the water, uh, you can also see them on dry land, and their coloration can vary very greatly. Um, when they're born, they have this very orange and red coloration, and as they mature, they get darker and darker, so they can be all black by the time they're adults. Uh, are water moccasins the same as cotton mouse? They are. Um, you can see in this picture here that the inside of their mouth is a bright white, and they use that as a display to let you know that they're on alert. Um, they also have that characteristic eye band that we were talking about before, which is a good indicator that you're looking at a venomous snake. If I see a snake in a yard, what should I do? Well, uh, you should stay away from it, certainly. Um, but it is an opportunity to observe it in its natural habitat. Uh, these are very important creatures in our ecosystem here, so you're getting a little glimpse of something very wild. Should I ever try to catch or kill a snake? Oh, certainly not. Um, most of the bites that occur happen because the victim was attempting to handle a snake. Best policy is to keep, your, keep away and not attempt to catch or kill it. If a snake bites me, what should I do? Well, the most important thing is that if it's a venomous snake or if you don't know whether or not it's a venomous snake, is that immediately you should call the paramedics, dial 911. Um, next thing you want to do is make sure that you remove any tight jewelry or clothing that is on that extremity. Say if it was on your hand, you'd want to take off your rings. Um, and you'd want to keep that limb below your heart and keep it from moving a lot. Now, you don't want to put any ice, and you don't want to apply a tourniquet. That can do much more damage than good, as well as trying to cut, this, cut the incision and suck the venom out. That also can do more damage than good. You want to stay very calm, and if the person that um, is with you is the one that was bitten, you want to make sure that you keep them very calm and keep your eye out for symptoms of shock. What else should our viewers know about snakes? Well, snakes are a really important part of our ecosystem, like I said, and they do a lot of beneficial jobs for us. They keep rodent populations under control, and rodents can cause a lot of crop and property damage. Snakes are also an important food source for some other important animals, like the bald eagle. Well, our time is up for today, Ranger. Thank you for telling us about the county's poisonous snakes. Oh, it was my pleasure. Thanks so much.